Hey folks, Dr. Nimji here. We know that many of you are practicing donning and doffing techniques in your departments, which is very important to ensure that you can keep safe. We also have a request for many of you to be able to show this through video content. So what we're going to show you today is appropriate donning and doffing techniques for droplet precautions. Our nurse is going to show us the first step for donning for droplet precautions, which is to wash her hands. Step two involves placing the gown. This is the yellow droplet precaution gown that is to be worn. This gown is also known as an isolation gown. The third step is to place on your mask. For droplet precautions, the mask to be worn is a procedure mask. Note that this is different from an N95 mask. The next step is to place your daily visor over the mask. The last step is to place on your gloves. Note that she is ensuring the gloves come up over the cuff of the gown. She is now ready to enter the patient's room. We will now go over appropriate doffing technique. The first thing that she will remove is her gloves. Note that she is careful to remove them in such a way as to not contaminate her hands. She reaches under the glove and peels the gloves off and then throws them into the garbage. She will now perform hand hygiene. The next step is removal of the gown. Note that she leans forward and peels the gown off of her body so as not to contaminate herself. She reverses the cuff of the sleeve and then rolls the gown up and into the garbage. When she has discarded her gown, she will then again perform hand hygiene. She is now ready to leave the patient's room. Note that she can clean her visor with a cavi wipe. She does not need to change the procedure mask as it is behind the visor protecting it from contamination. If the visor becomes soiled such that it cannot be cleaned or if the procedure mask becomes soiled or wet, she should request a new one. This completes the doffing procedure for droplet precautions.